Hello, this is Aimee, and this video is about how to get a domain name with GoDaddy. Okay, so here's the main GoDaddy page that you should be at, and what you're going to look for is a spot that says start a domain name search. Now, GoDaddy changes their layout not very often, but every once in a while, but their main um, product really are domains and hosting so the main names should be a pretty easy thing to find on their home page regardless of their layout but basically what you're gonna do you you uh, you can select any dot net dot com dot info that you want I um, only going to recommend at this point that you only need a dot com um, and if your domain name already has a dot com assigned to it, I don't recommend that you buy the dot net or the dot whatever just to have it because I believe that most people are just so used to typing dot com at the end of any domain that you might lose some traffic to whoever owns the dot com piece when yours is dot net. I hope that made some sense. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to start typing what you would like your domain name to be. You don't have to type www, just the domain name is good enough. So I'm going to start with a domain name that I know is already taken, um, which is mine, so that you know what's going to happen. Click on go. It's going to say paid forward revolution is already taken. When it says this, it means that it's not available. Okay. And um, what you'll see at the bottom here is other alternatives of that domain pay it forward, uh, turn online, pay it ahead, revolution live, whatever. It gives you different variations of what the system thinks you might like. So if you're looking for your a domain name, you might take a glance at um, GoDaddy's suggestions. If it's not available, it might be something that that you like. However, just keep in mind that if it's really close to something that is already taken and it could easily be mistaken for it, then you're going to lose some traffic to that domain. So let's see. Let's say that your domain is your domain test so whatever you want your domain name to be I'm putting this here because I think that the chances that that's taken it's slim okay so if that's available it'll say that your com is available in black and uh, basically what uh, you'll do next is this see with GoDaddy it's a little bit tricky tricky because they're trying to sell you all kinds of stuff this particular tutorial is only on your on you buying a domain one domain without hosting okay so basically you can do shop for more products or proceed to checkout so you're gonna click on proceed to checkout now uh, once you click next uh, it's gonna ask tell you that you found the best domain in the world and that you could increase your traffic if you also purchase the dot net dot org dot info and dot everything in the world that they can think of and that is not necessary uh, what you're gonna look for here is the part that says no thanks and continue to check out uh, most people see the add to cart and they click on that and that adds all those other domains to it and um, just you don't need to do that so click on no thanks continue to check out and it's going to take you to your registration information. You will have to do that. And that is just a legal step. Every domain needs to be assigned to someone's real name and address. You can keep that private for a fee. It's uh, the same as uh, the the phone, the US West um, or any phone directory, your name and address is listed in their database and you can choose to keep it private for a fee or keep it public. It's completely up to you. I um, keep mine public, um, you know, I don't find any benefit to not. So um, if you are already a um, customer like I am, then I would enter my customer ID and password. And if you are not, if you're new, then you would click here, I would like to create a new GoDaddy account, and it'll take you through that step. 
and uh, and then take you to your shopping cart. So let's go directly to the shopping cart because I want to show you just a couple of things. Okay. The first thing that you're going to see is that GoDaddy is automatically going to give you a five-year subscription because according to their discount, it is the most economical way to go. Um, again, this choice is up to you, uh, but the difference per year is relatively insignificant, so I recommend that you just change that to one year. Don't check anything. You don't need hosting at this point or through this tutorial. And then go to the very bottom here, okay? Now, here's where I want to make sure that you don't miss the step, okay? Don't click continue. Do you see these two options here that say customize my order or no thanks, I'm ready to check out? You want to click no thanks, I'm ready to check out. If you click on customize my order, they're going to take you page by page through all of the products that they feel would be complementary to your domain. You don't need to do that because you are just purchasing a domain name at this point. So make sure you check that um, no thanks and then Go ahead and click continue. <clears throat> okay, and here's your shopping cart. If for some reason you forgot to change the five year before, you can change it here too. So if you don't catch it, just make sure that um, you change that. Again, these are the options that I was telling you that you can keep your um, contact information uh, that you offered for your domain registration public or private. And really all that is if, um, let's say that someone's looking for your domain that you just bought. In this case, it's called yourdomaintest.com, okay? <clears throat> let's say that somebody's uh, looking for that domain and, and it's taken, but they really want it. They may do a search on the whois.com database to find out who that domain belongs to. And in that case, they'll find your name and whatever contact information you put on there. So that's all that that really does. It doesn't sell your information to anyone. Um, so keep it public. Uh, ensure that your prize is um, around uh, $10, okay? That's how much GoDaddy is. If this is $19.99 or $20.99 or something, then take a look at this um, yearly subscription again and make sure that it's just one year, okay? If you happen to have a coupon code and GoDaddy sends those out, um, to their customers randomly. So if you don't have one today, you might have one the next time you purchase something, and it's usually a 10% discount. Then you can enter that code and apply the code here. If not, here's your total. They give you your payment options, okay, whatever you choose that to be. And um, make sure you click on their terms and click on check out now. I'm not going to check out now because I don't really wish to purchase that domain name. But uh, basically, that's how you get a domain. Now, once that is completed, you are going to receive a confirmation via email from GoDaddy that your domain is ready. Okay. At that point, then you can uh, use your domain to um, forward it to some somewhere else, etc. It's uh, it's yours for the term that you purchased it for, which is one year. Okay, so that's how you buy a domain the fast way with uh, GoDaddy. So good luck.